understanding saline key topology and filter design. This configuration is well known as saline key topology or configuration based on one -Oppen. It is an efficient and general way of realizing uh, second order LTI systems and filters mainly depending on how we uh, select the values uh, and the choice of uh, Z1, Z2, Z3 and ZF uh, combination of resistor and capacitors. Uh, making the assumption that uh, op amp is properly biased so that VCC and minus VDD are properly selected and the ground terminal of op amp is also properly connected. Uh, op amp is in negative feedback configuration in a unity gain buffer configuration format. Uh, so the virtual short holds, meaning that uh, voltage of positive and voltage of negative terminal are equal, equal to each other. Uh, so V out should be equal to VP. So we can say uh, negative feedback configuration for op amp uh, in combination with um, op amp in linear region of operation. So VP is equal to VN is equal to V out. That's the virtual short property. Now, since no current is flowing into or coming out of the input terminals of the op amp because of input impedance being very high, practically speaking, so we can say the uh, relationship between Vx and Vp is just a voltage divider and since Vp from 1 is equal to V out, we can say uh, from 1 uh, Vx is just Z2 plus Z3 divided by Z3 times V out or Vp. So that is equation 2. Now we can write a KCL for node Vx. So the current flowing through Z1 should be equal to the sum of currents flowing through Z2 and through Zf. So Vn minus Vx divided by Z1, that's the current flowing through Z1, is equal to Vx minus Vp, which is V out. Uh, or let's make it even simpler because it's Vx divided by Z2 plus Z3. Vx divided by Z2 plus Z3 because no current is flowing through positive terminal. That's the current, this, this is the current flowing through Z2 and then plus the current flowing through Zf which is Vx minus V out divided by Zf. Alright, um, now we can replace uh, the value of Vx with uh, equation 2. So from equation 2, uh, let's do it here. So Vn divided by Z1 minus Z2 plus Z3 divided by Z1, Z3. I'm just replacing Vx with its equivalent from equation 2. Uh, this one we have denominator z2 plus z3 and we have numerator z2 plus z3 so when replacing vx with this one the denominator and numerator cancels out and it's v out divided by just z3 plus uh, z2 plus z3 divided by z3 zf I'm just replacing vx with this one minus V out divided by ZF. So if we simplify everything, we can write the transfer function of the whole uh, circuit here as V out divided by Vn. If you just simplify the whole thing, you get to this. You get to Z3, ZF, Z1, Z2 plus Z3, Zf plus Z1 plus Z2 
times Cf. Now the significance of this uh, voltage transfer function from input to output is uh, let's say if we select for example um, Z3 to be a capacitor and Z1 and Z2 to be resistors and Zf to be a capacitor. So for instance let's say for instance if we have this topology this special topology that for this realization C1 and let's say C2 R2 R1 and connected to this guy here is V out and this is Vn so interestingly just intuitively looking at this when you have DC here or very low frequency voltage here uh, the, this capacitor uh, over here and this capacitor over here would not be short um, if you have a very high frequency sinusoid here this capacitor will short uh, this node to ground so the voltage here uh, effective voltage here would be zero and then assuming up amp in linear mode of operation the voltage here will be zero so for high frequency it this this topology will enforce zero voltage at the output so it will kill high frequency components and for low frequency ones we can compute that it will result of a gain of one so this one would be effectively a low pass filter and uh, we can come up with uh, a version of this that is effectively a high pass filter just by again changing our choices of components so if we have plus minus and V out again in a unity gain negative feedback loop now instead of capacitor for C2 we are putting the resistor R2 here and here for the top one instead of cap let's have a resistor R1 now here instead of a resistor we're going to select a capacitor and another capacitor Vn in this case for very high frequency components these two capacitors act as short um, because their impedances are effectively very small so this node would have the same voltage as Vn and assuming up amp operating in linear mode of operation because of virtual short negative terminal would have the same voltage as positive terminal or because of the fact that this is a unity gain then V out will have same voltage as Vn so it has a unity gain at super high frequencies at very low frequency and DC these capacitors act as open so there will be no voltage going to the outside and the voltage outside will be zero at the output so it will this this circuit uh, is going to kill dc and uh, low frequency voltages and it's going to pass with unity gain high frequency uh, components so it's a high pass filter We can also realize bandpass filters using saline key topology or cascade of these two uh, as well.